This is Illinois Radio with Biko, Illinois Jones, and Pretty Riot going down right now. We got a dope special guest in the building. Because we ain't got no sound effects. Hit that one more time. She goes by L'Oreal. L'Oreal. How you feeling? Thanks for having me today. Oh, no, hey. thank you for coming through. Looking like a no limit solo. <laughs> y'all can't see us, but like me, yeah, Jones, and Maria, we got this whole little camo thing. Well, she got on. the boots on, too. Yeah, though. Y'all she, ready? She, she, she oh, I ain't see the boots. Oh, yeah, she got the boots on. <laughs> she got oh, the yeah. Jodeci oh, boots yeah, on. She do. <laughs> I got the whole army fit out <laughs> She ready for war. Yeah, y'all ready for war, not y'all. <laughs> I mean, all right. of y'all got the fit on. Now, that, I mean, let's jump into, uh, is Loria your real name? Yeah, Loria is my real name. Okay. Like the makeup. Do you do you feel like uh yeah, God, that is true when you yeah, look up L'Oreal the makeup? All the time. <laughs> do you feel like having your real name as your artist name? Do that like change you in a way of keeping it strictly? You know, it's pretty much keeping it real and keeping it positive. Yeah, I do because I like my name and my name is like different and unique. So I like that I'm able to use it. And people be like, oh, that's L'Oreal and still know me. Even though people, a lot of people call me Lori, like that's my nickname. So a lot of my family be at my shows, come on, Lori, still call me Lori and stuff. But it, I still like my name, using it. Like, mm. I feel like it's positive. Yeah, I feel like, you know, um, having a name, you, you having your real name and using it in a professional setting, you got to stand strong by it. So, yeah. Uh, have you have you ever, like, been in a situation where you didn't want to put your, you know, your name or your stamp on it? Mm-mm. I like my name. It defined me like my name. It holds weight because it's so different. Like everybody know, like it's, you know, really, it's not too many people out here named L'Oreal. You know, you got the makeup and stuff, and yeah. that's the only thing they reference it to. But because it's different, I like. And then the little accent thing over it, yeah. over my e, it's like me Beyonce. That's how I be looking at. It. I'll be like, it. Hey. That's how I be. That's how I like my I name. Like that Virgo with yeah. For real, I like my name. I feel it. And I ain't gonna lie, it's like no with the the comma over the name, I had to copy and paste the name. <laughs> Because my computer don't have that option. I know. I'm so glad you did that because they be trying to leave the sauce out of my name. And I love that in my name. Like, I be saying, don't leave, the sauce don't out. leave yeah, it out of my name. I wouldn't. I'm like, I'm going to find a way to. I'm like, how can I get this? Co-? I'm like, I'm just going to copy and paste it. And it worked out. Thank you. Like, Thank no you. doubt. Um, so, I mean, let's let's jump into family. Like, um, it, it, it has in, in any shape and form has, like, your family. I guess motivated you in a way to start your music career. Is there any musically inclined family member you'd like to tell us about? Um, my dad's side is like more of the artistic side, like the dancers, the singers, uh, the tap dancers. They all into the arts and stuff like that. My mom's side, they're not really, they're not really into the arts like that. But my mom is like my full support. Like she's behind me, hundred percent behind everything. Yeah, shout out to my mom. My mom, you the best for real. <laughs> like I went, I don't know what I'd be without my mom for real. Like Amazing. without throughout my whole life, she's been pushing me within my music. Like she's been the only, you know, the full force behind me, and I won't even be here without her. So shout out to her. So what made you? Okay, because first, how old are you? I'm 19. Okay. Right. I have to ask because you know people be looking at different. Yeah, ages, yeah, yeah I get that. I just that recently a lot. had that uh, yeah. last week. Yeah, with age, because I'm like, girl, you 16. Oh, my bad. I thought you was a little legal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like, first of all, how long have you been making music? Um, I've been a dancer since I was. Oh, so three. you could dance too? Yeah, yeah, girl. Yeah, that's my me. first love. Yeah, <laughs> I, think, I think you have to let them know what historical dance group you used to be with. Man, so many. I was in house arrest. I was in, um, I did dance. So you got to know how to dance to be with them. So, you, so your footwork yeah. game is me. Ah, no, no, no. We can do this, though. Because you, know? <laughs> you know they had us doing that. But I was in house arrest. I've been dancing since I was three. And then, like, um, the singing didn't really come to later on in my life. Like, I think I was, like, perfected. Well, not perfected it, but, like, at 10, it was there. But before, like, at 7, it, it, wasn't really, it was a little shaky and stuff. So 10... 10, that's when I started pursuing my music. Then in high school, I started doing remixes and stuff. So you went to Shires, right? Yeah, my freshman year for okay, ballet. So how was that, like, going to, like, an art school? Like, how do you think that helped your, like, you know, your art, your craft? It, well, I went for ballet. Like, I went for dancing. If I would have went for singing, I think I would have stayed probably. But, but, but because I went for ballet and when I went, I kind of, like, 
didn't really want to go once I got up in there because man, ballet it was just that ain't no stand on your toes and do you don't you man. get like you like blisters and and injure you know your toes and break toenails. Yo, they feet, our feet, ugly dancers feet ugly. I had to leave. <laughs> I had to leave. I'm talking about everybody feet up in there ugly. You feel me? Like I'm telling you, they be pushing you like you didn't. You had conservatory. You got not just ballet. You got to go to like jazz class. And it was just a lot going on. You couldn't mm. have your head down. You got to have your hand in the bun. It was just man a lot. You couldn't drip. You couldn't have you no couldn't, slack. No, none of that. And then you had to stay there till five o'clock. I think yeah, we was there till five p.m. every day. But yeah. She said, oh, nah, baby. <laughs> if I would have stayed for music, if I would have stayed for singing, I, I definitely would have stayed and grew a lot within my music and you know learning more with that. But because I was there for dancing, I didn't really stay there. So how do you how did you make up for you know? Because like how you say, if you would have went for music, mm-hmm. you would have you know been more developed. So how did you make up for not going to school for that? Like did you practice more? Did you start did taking voice up? like? With singing. Yeah. With singing. Yeah. With okay. singing. Uh, yeah, I did start. Um, I started getting into comp. A funny thing is the is dude named Sincere. He went to Shy Arts with me. Um, I started doing competition shows after I left Shy Arts. And I went to public school. I just started doing competition shows to get myself out there. And then I had met Sincere who went into Shy Arts. And we did this competition show. And then after that, that's when I met my vocal coaches. It just all started coming how I needed to. Like, everything started falling in place how I needed to. Mm. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, that was nice. Sound like the uh, what's that move? Say the last dance to move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's this one. It is. was something like that. I saw that school was like high school musical. I swear it was. <laughs> they dancing on tables, singing every day, making beats. That it was a nice school. It was cool. I ain't even going around. Do you, do you feel like it helped shape where you are now? No, I don't. <laughs> but shout out to Shy Arts though. But they, you know, but I don't. I don't. I was just there for a little minute. Look, man, you keep your toes flat. Fly. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Get your head down. Get my mm-hmm. head down. Your toes ain't bogus, you know. <laughs> yeah. You're good. Look, you left early. <laughs> before before the damage before occurred. It's <laughs> you know. a lot of You're girls. Gonna get me. Look, it's a lot of girls that's graduating. They see you with ugly toes that can't wear no heels. Oh damn! <laughs> I just like off because <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he just he just being real. <laughs> ain't no prom pictures from head to toe for them. <laughs> <laughs> they had the long dresses that covered up the feet. Now they had the heels to cover up the feet. <laughs> oh man! Uh, you know we we gonna get into a, a quick music break. We gonna play the homie hits featuring Young Thug Long Way. Oh my bad, wrong song. I'm so Oops. sorry. Oops. We gonna play hit, hits next, but we we gonna get into. <laughs> The homie, uh, look, D Brooks. You ain't been here in a week. Yeah, I know. You ain't been here in a week. It's we all good. Like, look. Hey, as long as we got the songs in, you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to help push the homies. That's all that matters. That's all that matters, bro. And now we finna get into players. Players mess up. You say play. You say players mess up. Yes, players we do. Up. Yes, we do, man. And uh, I'm finna get into this and that right now with D Brooks exclusive Valet, Katie Young, Cocky, and uh, yeah, right here on Illinois via Logic Radio. <laughs> You are now back in tune with Illinois Radio, and uh, we have our guest, L'Oreal, in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she already What's got up? a caller, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Call on, on the line? Call on the line. Hello? I think he took it on speaker. No, he don't speak. Shout out on speaker. Hello? Yeah. What's let, up? Man, let the people know who this is on the, on the phone. This is Mike Marucci, Marucci Worldwide. Shout out to Vico, Illinois Jones, L'Oreal, and the whole Chicago. Thank bro. Um, sir. Bro for everybody. Sir, you missing the whole host. I feel disrespected right now. <laughs> oh, he ain't got nothing to say. Hang up the phone. <laughs> Thanks for calling. It's all good, bro. 100. <laughs> Tell me it's all good. How do I feel? <laughs> That's how you feel. You just go go. Because he know? just breathes right over my thing. You know what? I'm mad. Don't be mad. Just gonna go in on him like that. Because he just breathes right over Pretty Riot. Like this is how she get. He did. Yeah, he this is how she get her dedication. This is how she get her dedication, y'all. He gonna dedicate a whole you. call. Uh, you gonna have to call back. <laughs> and say shout out to Pretty Riot. That's she gonna block your number from the station. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay. Yeah, that'll be fun. That would be hilarious, up. but I'm not that petty. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, L'Oreal, so 
tell me one thing or some things that you want your fans to know about you. Um, one thing or some things. Um, okay, I guess. Well, I'm I'm a little introvert. I'm chill. I'm kind of to myself. I feel like these things you have to say because people form a different opinion of you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, just looking at you. But I'm I'm to myself. But I'm still, you know, cool and down to earth and stuff like that. And when I be to myself, I don't want people to look at me like, well, I'm I'm a quiet person. I don't want, I don't like people looking at me like, oh, she's stuck up or she like that. So that's that's really what I want people to know. Like I'm just cool. Cool. With, you know, with being an introvert, how do you network? Um, cause I have to. Like, this is my, I'm saying, my field. I'm saying, so. like, how? Like, are you? You know, when you're around, for instance, if you're in at a venue, you just perform. Mm -hmm. Are you quiet still, or do you actually? No, because she, this is my work. But she, she in her mode. Yeah, this is my work. I know how to get up out of that when I have to. But you know, like. If I want to be at home type thing, opposed to just me going out regularly, I would choose to be at home type stuff because okay. that's yeah, like that. That's the type of stuff I'm talking about. Gotcha. Okay. But when it's work though, I'm always gonna get down to it and network with who I got to. So like outside of music, what's other things that you do? I know you said you dance, but like you got some other hobbies, you know? Yeah, I do makeup. I would, Oh, okay. Yeah, so you gonna money off that? Beat your face. Get money off that? Hey, yo, L'Oreal, she get an endorsement <laughs> deal. Okay, no, <laughs> for real. real I, man, I'm, I'm working on it. I swear, I see my um me like going half. Well, we like, call. we got another caller on the line. Hopefully, they don't skip over. We you. gonna get back into <laughs> into the makeup in a second. Caller, you on the line? State your name. Say that again. Oh, okay. We got you. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. That was hilarious. <laughs> she said, y'all going to hear me today. I got me down there. I'm going to go get on that right now. I'm going to go get on that right now. <laughs> hey, friend, no I'm, I'm, I'm going to go get on that right now. I'll be back. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. You know, yeah, hey. Shout out to y'all. Baby. Please outside. So, um, describe your your uh, describe in three words your style. My style. Mm. My style. Three words. That's a yeah, tough that's one. Tough. That is no, tough. It is tough. <laughs> you put it on the spot. Yeah, yeah, cause now my brain trying to think. Oh, three words. Okay, describe your style in one word. Um, I feel like that's harder. Give me one word. <laughs> okay, we're gonna bring you back. To I'm gonna just say, uh, man, you talking about like as far as the fashion or like what? It's like your music. You could. I mean, it could be like, both. Encompass yeah. right yeah. who you are too. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe this is a better question. When people say your name, what do you want them to think of you? Is that a better? Yeah. Question. Yeah. Real, they said my name. I just want them, yeah. I want them to, so think you just of want that. them to remember your name. No, I said real. I want oh, them to I think you, like when they hear real. I thought you said real. When they hear Loria, they think real. Like, yeah. I thought she said her name again. I'm just like, oh, you want them to remember your name. <laughs> nah, no, I want them to know that, like, real. So, what's something you want people to take away from your music? That is real. Like everything, I'm not just even if I'm writing off a of intuition or somebody else's story. You know, I'm not just, I'm not just like this. Just ain't no overnight or me just wanting for the lifestyle. Lifestyle. You know, this is everything I put into my music is solely real. Even if I ain't been through it, somebody else been through it. But this is what I write about. I'm putting my all into it, so it's real. Mm. Now, with with that being said, mm -hmm. we got to jump into the music. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was going to say, because I like the way you just answered that. So, like, what's your what's your writing process like? Like, how do you go about writing your music? God really just be blessing me. Like, and man, I just God. really, yeah, shout out to God. Because <laughs> I really just, like, before I was going through stuff, like, before I was even going through stuff writing about myself, like, I was just writing off intuition. And I didn't even know it. You know, God, like, I could just turn on a beat and just freestyle. And then make sure I'm recording myself, though. And then whatever I took from that freestyle, I just take it and then mm -hmm. format it. You know, get my get the real words up in it. And then I get a song in probably a day. And I don't even know where it came from, but this is all just flowing off of me. Or either I could take some of my friends telling me about her situation, and I put my own little stuff on that. And it's, I, God really just be helping me with my writing. 
And mm-hmm. I really just realized that though, <clears throat> like came into realization over that over this week. Just noticed, just noticed that. And how and how long you been making music in general? Since uh, I'm gonna say the start of it, I would say freshman year in high school. That's when I started writing. Mm-hmm. So it's about like five years in. Yeah. And you just realize it's, it's God's it's, pen. It's God's, <laughs> God's pen. Because, man, it's God's pen. We need pen. the drums. But I know, right? <laughs> That's a real new slapper. God's like that. pen. That's what it is. So, I, I like, you know, we're listening to some of your music. Um, it seems, like you just said, how you uh, you base your, your, your song off of other stories or stories mm-hmm. you've dealt with. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you feel like trying to really find the words to say this because when I listen to it I can tell that it seemed like you you've been through some things Mm -hmm. um so I guess that's the best way to say it have have you been through things that help you you know help get you a spark with your music yeah yeah I have like yeah with Facade that's my single on Notorious XIX and um Facade is really that was that's Facade is about my childhood I really did, took that back to my childhood. Like, I, I suffered with a lot of trust issues growing up, seeing the men in my family, you know, men, you feel me? And I just, I took women. that. Yeah, men. Uh, don't, don't, women. Don't men. Do the women. What zones there when I need them? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you feel me? Like, I just took that, and that kind of made me, like, stay to myself, reserve, get away from y'all. I don't want, you feel me? Like, I don't want to be bothered with y'all. I don't got to deal with y'all type stuff. And then, like, Facade, like, it really did show my trust issues, though. Like, from a child, like, seeing how my, my parents is and how they operate and stuff, I didn't want to go through none of that. Mm-hmm. So I took that facade and then t- took it to my own relationship, and it was kind of like messing up my relationship, like, me having these trust issues, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Gotcha. It can play a part. And it's just either, and then I just took it, and not even just from that, like, women that can been hurt before, and they past relationships, and now they with somebody good, and treating them right, but they still like pushing the dude away and stuff. And it's a facade. They still want them. They still need them. So I just take my experience and other people's experience, and I just make it all relate. Oh, some yeah. And I peep it in, in the in your facade video. Yeah. Um. You 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 definitely put everything you said within that visual. How you had you know um someone did you know uh, portray you as a child. Yeah, my little and cousin. It, Shout out to my. And then you know it goes into your adulthood and. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, that's what, you know, made me kind of bring up the question because I can, I see that you write with a passion and yeah. it's something in there that's, that you've dealt with that sparks that. Yeah. And, um, you know, speaking of the video, how did you and Pez Port Trace link uh, from the big, not even just for that video, just in general, how did you guys meet up and start putting in work together? Pez Port Trace, shout out to him because I've been working with him for a minute. Um, my first time working with Tracy was would be with when I was working with Chicago League I had did a song Unforgettable I was coming back from college I had dropped out of college and just like all when I was in college I was just really just before leaving I was getting my game plan on what I was finna come home and do I knew I wasn't gonna come home and sit down uh, I wasn't gonna hit the end of that you know I had to get to it cause my this my passion music my passion so when I had came home I had a game plan of coming out with my single Unforgettable and then I had put Chicago League on that and yeah, he was sad he was sad native so he put me in contact contact with Tracy which is you know what's that yep. and that's how we all linked up and stuff and I've been working with him ever since like that's where the loyalty come in and stuff but shout out to Tracy yeah that's the homie that's that's how I actually got introduced <laughs> uh to you from right. Tracy's channel like, like when I say that's my homie that's my that's homie and um, shout out to him. you know he was showing me some video like he was showing me some videos before he really sometimes he'll show me some unreleased things yeah. and and I saw Facade uh, when I was over his crib a while back ago. He's like, check this out. <laughs> and that's how, you know, I got introduced to who you was. Gosh, and, um, yeah, he, and y'all make a, a great pair. Like, he it's he fully, yeah, we, he is yeah, a Virgo. Virgo. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. He is. I love working with him. <laughs> Our minds get him yeah. when on set. It's yeah. like you can see it in the camera. Yeah. He's he's literally bringing your vision to life. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. you know, you got to. He's creative, too. Like, his brain be going off mine. That's why I like working with him. He he wrong. I, I mess with him. Yeah, I, like I said, I see it in the visuals. And uh, <laughs> speaking of visuals, you did a joint with uh, Taya Gabrielle. Yeah, and we recently interviewed her. Shout so. out to Taya. Man, that was was really when I was uh, my game plan coming from college. I really wasn't trying to sit down. So after Unforgettable, I needed to come with something else. And then she was 
I seen her on Twitter. I think I just, yeah, she came across my um, TL like on Twitter, and I'm like, I mess with her. She dope, like you know. And I ain't with the female. I ain't like that. I don't get with the little competition stuff. Like if you you nice, you want to work, let's just work. So I hit her up and we Excuse me. Then got in the studio. Blooper. Look. You you ain't even had to say nothing. She was you know we First was all, dropping. She called you out. She called you out. Cause did you see my face? I hope that was on camera. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely going in the blooper rail. All right, my bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna delete that the audio. <laughs> Please, that's the last thing we need. We go, Bert. <laughs> so you, you were saying? Yeah, but shout out to Ted. We had um did a song together called "Don't Play," and we shot a video. Tracy did that too, and yes, yeah, we just been cool ever since. Like, shout out to her. Yeah. So, being that you are female, because I know how, like how you just said, you're not a female to you know partake in that competition yeah. because you know as women, that's a big thing with yeah. us. It's like we. People portray us as oh, black women can't work together. Right. We can't do anything like that. So who like who are some other female artists you want to work with like in Chicago or just in general? Um, it has been a few on my TL I have been seeing like, but I just ain't got to it. Got to it that I really want to. But um, I know Queen Key, and then it's this rapper girl, uh, pretty girl. Man, what is her name? Pretty gal, something. I don't even know, but. Sorry. Pretty gal who? I don't even know, but I don't even know. Can I find her? Anyway? Oh, no. You can find her. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and find her. <laughs> but she, she like a cold rapper to me, and she ain't even out there, out there yet, but I could see it. Like, I could see her on the rise type thing. Any any like other singers you could see yourself? Uh... Oh, yeah. Pretty gal. Pretty gal side. Shout yeah, out pretty, to you. Shout out to pretty gal side. Um, sing, singers? Your yeah, R&B singers? Um, I don't know if Chanel True is she a singer? She, yeah, she she, she, she multi. Yeah. yeah, she she cool. I seen her. I want to work with her. A lot of people. Queen Key, Queen Key Dreezy. If we going to the mainstream, yeah. you know, just all that. I want to work with. I'm just oh, down to work with anybody. That's yeah. good to hear, man. Yes, I like that. She yeah, work with anybody. I know you said you was uh, coming straight from college and you was like, you know, focusing on your dreams. Mm-hmm. What was one of the challenges you had to go through? From leaving, I know leaving college and leaving school, your mom like, hold on now. Mm-hmm. Not my mom. That's why I rock with my mom. But the main thing that I was experiencing was the doubt, though, from everybody else. The doubt was the number one thing that I was experiencing heavy, like. Because when you talk, tell somebody you a singer, they really just like, hmm? What? They don't see it. Like, they don't see it how your vision, how you see it, you know? So that's why I really just withheld everything. And I did kind of get in, uh, into a little depression coming out because it's like I really had to get in that grind and I had to overcome all that doubt because everybody was doubting me, my family. That's why I really messed with my mama because she just told me, like, come home. You know, she had her love. You could hear it, but she still let I'm her child. And she was just like, come home. You know what you got to do. So shout out to my mom. Shout out, shout, mama. Out mama. Mama. shout out to mom. Shout out to mom. Shout out to mom. On the real, when your when your when you have when your mama or your dad or somebody supports you that strong, mm-hmm. that's really the fuel to that's the fire, I mean, right I there. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Just that one person. Yeah. Just that one person. Another thing I want to like: who are some of your influences as far as singers, other R and B singers? Um, definitely Beyonce. That's my number one. She always been since I was a child. Chris Brown. I just love performers because. Performers like they inspired me. Once I watched them, I, I messed with J. Cole. Herb, Herb actually helped me like with getting out of college and overcoming all of that because with the grind and stuff. Because I was just like, man, I just miss with performers. And he independent too, so he made me like. And I got my independent label myself, Loyalty Level. Shout out to y'all. And um, man, just everybody, Beyonce, performing, just everybody that's on their stuff. Chris Brown, how he overcame, you know, all the doubt that he had. Beyonce, cause she just the number one performer. She just hard working, dedicated, and her he just steady going no matter what. People trying to put him down with the end of being independent and stuff. Nah, so shout out to everybody, all of my influences. Mm. Okay, we see she like the hustle. Yeah. she like the performance. Yeah. Like that stuff. <laughs> blend it all together. Yeah. All of it. I'm ha- <laughs> hey, I'm happy you're here. So okay, cause I want to know. You, so what you. what new music you got? 
like you working on a project? Yeah, I'm um for the summer. I got this new song called Speak Up. Now that's going crazy because I just performed with D1CMG. Shout out to D1CMG. We partnered with them. Well, and that was at Refuge. No, that baseline. A, that was a baseline. baseline. Yeah, that was a yeah. baseline. And um, I just performed my new single. That ain't out yet. It ain't dropped. It's called Speak Up, and that's a banger. That's a banger. Coming out uh, for the summer. I hope we get that soon. Man, I, I could send y'all a little snippet if you Send us a little snippet. <laughs> <laughs> you make exclusives now. Send that thing. You, thing. <laughs> uh, you know, let's, let's get into this game one time. Yeah. We're going to yeah. start it off like that. Martin or Fresh Prince? Martin. Okay. Favorite food? Mm, baked macaroni. Oh, oh, sister so. girl. Yes. Up there. Okay. She ain't, so see, she ain't say good. macaroni. She said, she said baked, baked macaroni. macaroni. Because they put it in Name an artist you bring back from the dead. Now I think we, I got an idea. Now we we got oh, a buzzer. If you say somebody that we've we've heard, you will get the buzzer. So yeah. think of a couple of them. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't mess with the dead. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> if they died, if they died, I'm sorry, I'm not bringing them back. Like, <laughs> she she said, we can still in. play their music, look, but I ain't bringing them she back. She walking dead. Too, look, that's too real for her. <laughs> She don't like the zombies, B. She's like, that cemetery, that was too much for her. <laughs> hey, I, I accept that. <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that as an answer. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll mess with the dead. dead. <laughs> for my now, last. Now, if anybody else say that, I'm, bu- I'm hitting the buzz around them. You're hey, the only person you, that gets yeah, away with yeah, that. Yeah, you're the only one. I'll mess with the dead. <laughs> so, I'm a, I got one more, and I'm going to pass it off. Uh, one word that best describes you. Oh, I said real. Oh, sorry. Yeah, damn, I got to give you one more then. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> if you wasn't rapping, what do you see yourself? I'm sorry. If you wasn't singing, what do you see yourself doing? Uh, probably a makeup artist. Yeah. Okay. A top makeup artist for like celebrities and stuff. No base. No base. Nope. Well, yeah. okay. okay. So I got questions too. So since we was just talking about makeup, mm-hmm. so what's the first thing you do when you do your makeup? Eyebrows. Okay, you will. <laughs> I hate watching YouTube tutorials and girls start with their foundation first. No, and I'm just that like, that's sense. so backwards. Yeah, it don't make sense. Hold on. I, it's, oh, I didn't know it was a... Bro, I don't know that. I didn't know it was a... Oh, no, 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 that's why, I, like, Biko, when I phone with you earlier, and it was like 12 o'clock. It was o'clock. 12, I was like, bruh. let me start getting ready now. 12 o'clock, bruh. Like, you ain't about to get ready now? Okay. It's going to take three hours. That, it be, and then it be, you know, sometimes the shower, you know. I just be lost in the shower sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> just be. That don't sound too easy. You know, on to the next yeah. question. <laughs> she be playing with the shower head and all. Okay, because now you're taking things too far. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, it's like an organized thing. You got to start. <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I thought she was about to say something else. Say I'm not going to say it. Oh, as soon as she said or, I was like. No. Oh, they're going to. Nah, it's right there. The organized part. You know what I mean? Y'all ain't cutting it up. Y'all are cutting it up. Look, look. Look, you know, I'm putting y'all on the timeout because that was very inappropriate. Look. Hey. Look. Sorry. She had the pause between the organ and the organ. She did. She was organized, y'all. <laughs> Y'all just it was, a call. It, was a, it was a five second pause. It was not five it seconds. That's a long time. It was, time it was a little gap. It, it was a little gap. Might have been not she five. Took a it was a little. It don't matter. Anyway, <laughs> keep it. Keep Anyways, it going. So okay, I'm gonna ask some different questions this time. So, where you like to shop at? Uh, Kira. I do like a Kira. Mm. You shop anywhere else? Yeah. Yeah, like Fashion Nova. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just like, if, if I see it, I like, like it. it. You get it? I yeah. Feel that. I feel that. Um, what's a what's a song that you would say describes you? Like, if you hear this song, be like, ooh, this song about me. Because my song, I'm a lie, my song is Crazy by Kalani. Okay. That's my song. Like, when I hear that song, I'll be like, that's I'm me. crazy. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I mean, I don't think I'm crazy, but. I knew you was crazy yeah. when I first met you, James. That's a that's a that's a that's, that's a good song. question. Let's think about right there. She like she's so many. It is. Okay, give me the the two you thinking of right now. Or the first that come I'm to trying, mind. I think it's probably like a Beyonce song, but I can't even think. And that's Beyonce's forever removed, so that's so acceptable. Hmm, these 
little on the spot questions be <laughs> battling my brain. <laughs> Let me see, man. Uh, she got to think about the lyrics and all that. That's exactly what I'm trying to see. I'm thinking too much. I'm just finna say, uh, this ain't even finna be no serious answer. I'm just finna say. What about one of your songs? Oh, she was about to get, okay. Oh, my bad, my bad. She was about to let it out. Let it out. One of my songs now. See, okay. <laughs> now go ahead. Yeah, say one of your songs. Um, I'm gonna say "Speak Up," my new song. Okay. Yeah. We getting exclusive to that song. Okay. I, I was about to say I just got the rough to my email. <clears throat> oh. I sent it to the Illinois. Oh, cool. Okay. cool. I got some questions. Uh, I see. Got What's your thing with Army Fatigue? Do you like Army Fatigue? Yes. Yeah, like yeah. Just Camo, um, camouflage or whatever they want to call it. I like the new style going around with it, like with the orange camo, the red camo. Mm, different I like colors. That. Yeah, I like that. I'm okay. Like that. So if you was if you was at a show and it was a full show, pack show, mm-hmm. and they gave handed you the auxiliary cord, what song would you play? Of yours. Of mine. Speak yeah. up. Speak up. Yeah. Okay. Broke and happy, or rich and depressed. Broke and happy or rich and de- broke and happy. But I don't want to be broke though. But you can, <laughs> can you be broke and happy? Because How can you be money not everything. That's what some people say. Well, money can't help a lot. Money helps a lot. <laughs> well, you, you think you about it. You the answer. <laughs> but I don't want to be depressed and rich. <laughs> but but, no, but how I, long will you be rich and depressed right, though? Because I could go and do spa days and stuff, kill myself, you know. Kill yourself. No, heal. Oh, heal. I'm saying. No, not kill. Take the no. headphones off. Y'all here. Y'all here. Hold on, come out. I'm going to make sure I don't want to know who he is. He's shaking his head. He's hey. like, nope. No. Hold on. What is y'all here? He's like, did you hear kill? He's like, bro, I ain't in it, bro. <laughs> no. He's like, hey. he like, I got to ride back home with her, bro. I ain't in it. No, bro. <laughs> No, but like if I'm rich, you know, I could heal myself, go to different places I've never been. I want to, yeah, I'm going to be rich and depressed because I'm only going to be for a little minute. I'm going to get exactly. up out of that. Yeah, it's easy. So I'm yeah. up out of, you yeah. know. I, uh, what's a quote that best describes you? Um, the strongest of the species is not the ones, it's not the strongest. The strongest of our species to survive is not the strongest. It's the one that's most responsive to change. I don't think I said it word for word, but that's by Charles Darwin. And it's basically saying, like, the strongest people in the world is not the ones that's physically strong. It's the people that's adaptive to change. So that describes me. Like, whatever situation I'm in, I know I'm going to get out of it. I'm going to get myself. I'm going to pull myself out of it. So that's describing me. Damn. Oh. Broke it down. Yeah, she broke okay. it down. I, this Smart, is, you good. talented, <laughs> turn up. And yep. she cute. Yep. Thank you. Um, before we get into facade, you know, let people know where they can find you and um, reintroduce your single. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is L'Oreal. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at L'Oreal, L-O-R-E-A-L underscore W. You can follow my label page, Loyalty Level, Loyalty underscore level E N T, um, and this is my single facade. Hold on, wait, wait. Get, get I was you. about to say, yeah. talk about this label yeah. real quick. Yes, oh, you, no, we weren't just gonna drop that off and then uh, okay. we uh, This is my independent label. I started with well when I left out of school after I um, finished after I finished like my game plan. Somebody noticed me and decided to invest in me. So they started to. Um, they started, we all partnership, me, my mom, and him. His name Marlon Harris, shout out to Marlon. And we all started an independent label, and it's called Loyalty Level Entertainment, and that's what we've been, um, we know that's what we've been building up now. We actually partner with D1CMG because it's strength in numbers, you know. So we all trying to take over Chicago. Turn up. Head on her shoulders. Damn. I'm hustler right here. Um, introduce your single one more time. <laughs> this is beside everybody. Right here on Illinois via Logic Radio. I pushed you away, and now there's really nothing I can say. Just hoping you can forgive me, and now I let your pride get in the way. It's just that I don't trust these. They come with hand and chin, it's not some better than they do. 